Hello everyone, this is Jennifer Terry. I make Philippine travel updates. Yes, I'm still here. Miss me? I know, Char. How are you? I hope 2024 has been treating you well. In today's update, I'm going to talk about e-travel. We already know e-travel is the Philippines online travel system wherein all travelers traveling to the Philippines, if you're entering the Philippines, we all must register. While leaving the Philippines, departure only Philippine passport holders need to register. Now, what about e-travel, Jennifer? Are we still required to do that? Yes, of course. The sky is still blue, diba? Right? Yes. Um, in fact, somebody refused to register to e-travel and was rude. Was even blacklisted in the country. Well, but, but that's not you guys, so not a worry. E-travel is that's that's constant, okay? But there are some changes about e-travel. So what are these changes? Now, before I go into the changes, I'm gonna start with a warning. This is not new, but some fake, fraudulent, or scam websites are around. They're pretending to be e-travel and they are stealing your information and asking for payment. So avoid those websites, guys. We know better. The only official government website is etravel.gov.ph. Now, the Philippines Bureau of Immigration and the Cybercrime Investigation and Coordinating Center last Friday, well, they have cautioned you guys, the public, from using eight fraudulent e-travel websites that charge passengers 3,000 to 5,000 pesos when the registration should be free. So what are these sites? These are the sites to avoid you know, forget about these sites. Just remember etravel.gov.ph. It's the only thing you need to remember. Now, the government is already doing their work trying to block these sites. So do that quickly, government. And if you ever um, encounter a website that's trying to be e-travel, you, we can be part of the solution and report it to this site. Okay? This is the government site to report fake e-travel e websites. Remember, e-travel is free of charge. It's free. Now, what are the changes, Jennifer? So the change is basically mainly e-travel accounts. So right now, we have to make an account now. It's not like before when you can just like jump into the website. Now you have to make an account before you can register. And then that account is forever char. So when you get into the website, you'd have to input your email. After that, they will send a code to that email address in which you'll have five minutes, okay, five minutes to get that code and then um, put it in the website. So that's the email verification process. So it's really important that you are using an email that's active and you have access talaga, no? And after that is verified, then you can create your password. Yan, password. After password, personal information. It's the same information from before. So, name, birth date, passport details, and then your permanent country of residence. And then a new thing is they want your picture. So, sa e-travel, need na ng picture, guys. You need to take a picture or upload a picture of yourself. Ayan. Then once you have an account, you can add family members there as well. So that's a great thing. If let's say you are a family of five, three, four, three, two, whatever, traveling together, you can just make one e-travel account. So it's not repetitive, right? Another thing, another new feature of e-travel is that it now allows you, okay? Now you can now register or do your customs baggage declaration there. So after you register to e-travel, there will be an option down below that will say customs online declaration form. So ayan. So e-travel and customs question. Jennifer, is it mandatory to do the customs baggage declaration online form? So we know e-travel, mandatory. How about the customs online form? No, it's not mandatory. The customs form is the online customs form. That's totally up to you if you do it online or manual. According to the Bureau of Customs, manual customs declaration form will be revived. International passengers, including airline crew, will be asked to fill out a customs baggage declaration form. 
either online or manual. That should be submitted to customs officers at the BOC or Bureau of Customs counters for clearance. So in 2017, they've actually abolished the customs form. Like I noticed traveling to the Philippines, sometimes they would give me the customs paper form, sometimes they don't. Uh, there's no consistency but this is now clear that the Bureau of Customs will revive the paper form so whether you do it online or paper it's totally up to you personally in my opinion I've seen the Bureau of Customs online form I would rather do the manual furthermore the Bureau of Customs said that they are closely coordinating with the airlines operators council to load customs baggage declaration forms for distribution during flights to the Philippines. That's better. Yeah. Distribute it during the flight. We have plenty of time. <laughs> As for immigration updates, guys, annual report if you are registered with the Philippine Immigration, if you are holding an alien certificate of registration, an ACRI card, except tourists, you'll have to do the annual report. I just want to be clear if you are a foreign tourist, a former Filipino, a dual citizen, you are not required to do this annual report. Okay, this is just for like foreign students, workers, uh, per foreign permanent residents in the Philippines and such. So um, before, their only option was to go in person. Um, last December, the Bureau of Immigration's commissioner announced that there will be a virtual annual report, which is great if you live far from, from an office or from the venue you don't have to go you can do it online pay online which is really great it's still on the same system eservices.immigration.gov.ph log in into your account if you don't have one register okay next up click annual report then this part you'll have to input your acri card details your application information whether you're doing this reporting type by a virtual or in person then you get to select your appointment date and appointment time so the online annual report will be done through google meet then your personal info and then your visa details and that's it you can also pay your annual report fees online so no need to leave your house this can all be done in the comfort of your home that's all the update I'll be sharing in this video, guys. It's kind of short. I hope this was helpful. And if you have anything to add, comment down below. Um, I would like to say, though, that if you have an offloading story, I'm going to make a video about that. I've received some messages from, from, from you guys, stories of people who got offloaded. So that is still a thing. If you have family or friends um, leaving the country, especially for the first time, please just prepare. Yeah. Anyways, I'll see you with another video. God bless you all. Stay safe. Bye.